Thank you so much to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and we are back with another room makeover, which is my favorite thing on this channel. I absolutely love doing room makeovers. I just love filming them, creating them, designing them, painting them. I love all the aspects, even the editing and uploading. Like, it's so fun. You guys might be asking, where are you, Drew? Like, oopsie, sorry. You guys might be asking, where exactly are you at the moment? I am actually in Marie's bedroom because she went back home for a couple of days to Chicago for some personal things she needed to do. So I figured while she was gone, I'm kind of gonna be doing like a half surprise room makeover. Now this room is going to actually be a two-part makeover because this one's going to kind of entail a little bit more than my traditional makeovers. This one's going to have a very, very like intuitive painting slash molding process. Marie really wanted like a French style, very kind of like modernized French, updated, chic, very like sophisticated, you know, look for this room. Her room prior in our old apartment was a little bit more on the boho side, but kind of like an eclectic boho look. And for this room, we're going for more of a minimal, modern French, just like chic Parisian aesthetic. And I want to at least surprise her with like one little element of this room so when she comes back I want at least to have the paint on the walls and the wall molding done that way for the next video we can do like decorating and all that sort of fun stuff let's just get to painting Woo I'm so excited however before jumping in I do want to share with you guys the before footage of Marie's bedroom this was actually from the empty apartment tour that I filmed a couple months ago prior to moving in on the channel this is what Marie's room looked like before as you could see it was covered in mirrors we kind of came to the conclusion that maybe this room was a dance studio or a dance or lived here, something along the lines of that. However, we did have the landlord remove all of the mirrors or he offered to do so. And he also scraped all of the popcorn ceilings prior to moving in. So those were already all done. So you're kind of now seeing it in the state that it was in after we had moved in, which is no more mirrors and the popcorn ceiling being gone. Let's get back to the video. I also have my Disney Plus ready to watch. I am watching, name the movie. Oh my gosh, it's not working. That was anticlimactic. I'm so excited I'm gonna watch Ice Princess while I'm painting, but let me share with you guys first the paint. Here's the paint that we're actually gonna be using for these walls. Now there are four gallons because there are a lot of steps in this. If you guys have never heard of Portola, they actually create really unique paints and glazes. This is not sponsored in any way. I actually found them on Instagram and they create such cool wall looks. If you guys have ever seen like a lime wash wall or any of those walls that almost have like a plaster look to them, it's normally created with Portola paint. So we wanted to emulate that look for this space and give the walls a little bit of interest. And I've never used anything like this before. We also had to get this humongous brush Brush. And guys, I'm letting you know right now, this stuff is not cheap. I believe all of the supplies for this room were about $350, which is quite expensive, but I'm just being real with you guys. Marie purchased this um, and she wanted this on her wall. So I was like, I will do it for you. I have to prime it first with this. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today is the undercoat. And this can just be applied with just your simple roller. And then this brush comes into action when we do the actual lime wash portion, which is gonna be kind of fun. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it will come out great. So let's go ahead and start priming. Do you guys remember when the Zamboni is driving on the street at one mile per hour all the way from the ice rink to clean her pond? <sighs> it is about two and a half hours since I started. I watched my movie and I primed all four walls in the bedroom. And yeah, I'm gonna let this dry overnight and we're gonna start with the painting portion tomorrow, which should be pretty exciting.
This morning, I woke up to such an exciting package from today's sponsor, Simply Safe, and I have been wanting a home security system forever, but especially since moving to a new apartment that is literally accessible from the street and not in a big complex, I knew that I needed a home security system. So when Simply Safe reached out, I was like, absolutely, I would love to try out your guys' security system. So essentially, it is a home security system that is delivered right to your doorstep and you could set it up in under an hour. And they have great sensors to cover every single window, room and door, and lots of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. It is honestly super effortless and easy to use and you can get around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts at all. So I just think it's a super simple and easy modernized home security system. I also have to mention this security system is designed so nicely. The base station honestly just looks like a piece of decor in my living room and all the little sensors and features are super sleek and simple. So they don't really add any eyesores to your walls or spaces throughout your home. And of course I tested all the sensors to make sure that they worked and I was able to set this up in under 45 minutes and my friend Jay and I were literally jumping around with how simple and easy this was to do. It was like a fun game. The system also comes with this really great key fob that allows you to arm or disarm the alarm once you get home just from your key fob, which is amazing. And then I actually just hid the cord for my HD camera inside this little pot. Just wanted to give you a little tip on this shelf, which kind of gives access to the full hallway. And that was my full Simply Safe setup. I just finished installing the Simply Safe home security system and you guys, it was so simple. It was honestly fun. Like I was actually amused at how simple it was and how everything connected and literally the device was like, the emergency detection has been enabled. I was like, how did it just do that? Like, how did it know to connect to that piece? Like, I'm very confused, but I absolutely loved it. Everything's connected. So if you guys would like to check out Simply Safe as well, use my link, which is simplysafe.com slash lonefox. I'll also put it in the description box below for you guys to check out their website. Definitely a super user-friendly system for sure. Um, so yeah, check them out. The primer has now dried as you can see it's nice and dry on the walls and it finally doesn't smell in here anymore um but today i'm going to actually start taping off all of the windows the baseboards the crown molding and then go in and paint the walls now keep in mind guys that the entire walls have to be painted with this lovely brush so that will be a lot of fun and it also needs multiple coats which will also be a lot of fun and we're not doing an accent wall we're doing all four walls which is even more fun but first i'm gonna go in and add tape to all the walls and yeah, I probably won't even film that because that's boring. We need to jump right into the paint. So you're going to see me in like a second with the paint. never used a paint like the one I'm using here, which this is my first time as well, the best way I can describe this paint is that it is kind of like a watercolor. It's very buildable and basically the more you build on it, the more texture that you get. So it is essentially very runny and oily. So your first layer is going to be pretty thin, but once it dries and you apply the second layer, it gives you a more opaque textured surface, kind of like a very nice plaster look without having to actually plaster the walls. Alrighty guys, so I finished painting the entire room with the paintbrush. It actually didn't take that long. I started at 12 and it is 4.30 right now. And we had to also tape off all the windows, the ceiling and everything. But this is what one coat on the room looks like right now. It looks amazing. I was honestly very, very skeptical at first when I first applied it. I was like, oh my gosh, this does not look how I want it to look. Like I want it to be darker, but it actually, what I noticed is it actually dries lighter and then it kind of oxidizes to a little bit of like the actual color it's supposed to be because when it was drying, it was so light, like a very, very, very pale cement color. And I was like, this is not what I wanted. Like this just looks too light. And then after about an hour, it oxidized and got even darker into the actual color it was supposed to be. So as you can see, the walls have this really cool texture on it but this is not done. It needs one more coat and it's still super bright in here. I'm not sure if you guys can tell it kind of looks darker when I'm pointing it directly at the window, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I add that second coat.
Good morning, everyone. I already went ahead and applied a second coat of the paint to the wall here. And basically, I really want to see how the second coat looks. So it's pretty early right now. It's like 9 a.m. I just finished applying the second coat. And I want to let this dry throughout the day. And then I'm going to start working on the other walls later on. I'm actually going to be filming a fun little Ikea hacks DIY, like in between. Lots of stuff going on in the Lone Fox household at the moment. It seems so weird almost to paint more texture on top of a textural base already that had some white showing through like as you can see over here it looks like very textured but i almost feel like when you paint another coat on there it's going to remove some of the texture so i really want to see how this dries i will say though that the second coat um it doesn't stretch as far like the first coat you were definitely able to move it around and kind of work a bit quicker but the second coat you kind of put it on there and it stays in one spot and you kind of try to move it around but it doesn't move around as much so it definitely does require more paint on the second coat but this is where we're at so far so I'm gonna let this dry and catch back with you guys in a couple of hours it is a couple days since I last saw you last time you guys saw me I was actually applying the second coat to this wall and this is what this wall ended up looking like fully dry and in the meantime I also went ahead and added a second coat to this wall and a second coat to this wall as well because I want to hang the curtain rods up and hang the curtains so I knew I wanted to add the second coat first however I do still need to add one more coat to this wall which I'll probably do later on but I want to start off by doing the curtain rods in here so we can get the curtains up um, and then we're gonna do the molding after I'm not sure if the molding will be today Today. However, the curtain rods are definitely going to be today. So let's go ahead and start those. It looks so much better when you take the tape off. It is crazy. I'm obsessed with this color. It looks pretty dark on camera, but I swear to you in person, it is just the most perfect like mid-tone gray. This is a rod that I picked up. It's from Lowe's. This is a 144 inch rod. And then I have two smaller ones for the smaller windows at the same size, but I'll try to link these below for you guys. is honestly a couple weeks after I filmed my last clip. Well, Marie actually ended up coming home a little bit sooner than she was supposed to, so I wasn't able to finish all the wall molding. However, I wasn't home when Marie actually got home from the airport. However, she did film a little vlog clip, which I'll insert here, of her kind of like reacting to the at least all of the walls and the window treatments that I added into the bedroom. So I just got off of a very long plane ride. I still have my suitcase with me. I haven't seen my room yet. Last time I saw it, it had these disgusting curtains, blue trim, the walls were all different colored whites, and I'm literally so excited to see what it looks like now. I know it's not fully finished, but I think just seeing it with the paint and hopefully curtains is going to make such a difference. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see what it looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh <gasps> oh oh it looks so good <gasps> Here's one set of the wall molding. And you guys are probably like, wait, what is this? Please explain. And I will tell you exactly what it is because I am obsessed with this company. So these are wall moldings by a company called Lux Architectural. And they have both a website and an Etsy shop. But my friend Peony and Honey, she had used these in her bedroom. And I'll pop up a photo right here of how incredible they looked. These are peel and stick wall moldings so on the back side there are actually removable mounting strips which will keep it up on the wall and these are so incredibly crafted they are heavy duty they are strong i am absolutely obsessed with the quality of these it's a small business so it's great to support small businesses as well i'll link them below for you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and prime every single piece that i got and then we're gonna paint them with the same exact paint and apply them to the wall 
So traditionally, you would probably put up the wall moldings first on the wall and then paint all over everything. However, I wasn't sure how the paint was gonna look to start. So I didn't wanna put them up and then paint it on there and then not like it. So I did it in two separate parts, but you can put it up first and then paint over it, which is probably the best method. Here is the second coat fully applied onto all of these smaller pieces. So these are the smaller uh, square and then the really tiny kind of rectangle shape. All of, or four of the larger ones currently drying. This is such a moody lighting, but there are four. We just kind of reused the packaging that they came in. Hopefully by tomorrow morning slash midday-ish, they'll be fully done and dry and ready to go up on the walls, which is kind of scary. I'm hoping that they go up easy. I'm pretty sure that they will though because they're kind of peel and stick and I should be able to just measure them out, put them on the wall and they should be good to go. Good morning guys, it is the next morning and I'm literally blending in with the wall right now, but something you might notice is that I already went ahead and I wanted to test this off camera just to see how it worked. I already applied the first little set of molding. As you can see here, it looks absolutely incredible. And when I tell you guys this was so easy to apply, it was very, very easy. Of course you wanna make sure everything's nice and lined up, which that can be the challenging part, but all you have to do is just peel the backings off of the mounting strips, stick it on the wall, and it is securely placed placed on there. So I'm so happy with how this is looking so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting the other little squares onto the wall. And um, there's not really much rhyme or reason to this or instruction really, because it kind of just is based off of how many you need and how large your wall is and how tall it is and how much spacing you wanna do. So it's kind of just all very customizable. The entire process of putting up the wall molding was actually super, super simple. Honestly, guys, like I measured a little bit, but I kind of also eyeballed it because the walls in all of our bedrooms throughout the house are so messed up. They're different lengths, different sizes, rectangles, literally some of them are almost even circles. Like I don't even know how it was constructed. So I kind of just had to do it to whatever the eye looked best or however my eye looked. You guys know what I'm talking about. Alright guys, after about two hours or so, I finished installing all of the molding and it was actually very simple. I was originally going to put one here, however the curtain rod kind of came in contact with it up here, so the curtains kind of cover this area anyways, no point to put one there. There's some behind the bed which looks incredible, it looks a little bit blue toned in here, and then there's one back here, or a set of two I should say. So I'm really, really happy with the outcome of the room so far, I think it's definitely different than anything I've ever done. I've never really done like a moody space, so this one's a little bit more fun for me to do. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed part one of this room transformation in the next part basically it's going to be all of the fun parts we're going to be adding some art prints to the wall decorating adding all of the decor new bedding a dresser all the fun elements are going to be in the next part this was really fun as well but this is a little bit more of the time consuming tedious section and the next part is going to be a little bit more decorating and i want to give a humongous shout out and thank you to simply safe for sponsoring today's video if you guys would like to find out any more information on them or get your very own home security system definitely check the link in the description box below to do so i will catch you all in part two do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you are notified every time i upload a brand new video and yeah i'll catch you guys all in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye guys